The purpose of the air conditioning system is to decrease the temperature of the bleed air and to distribute the air to the cockpit and cabin. The system has two packs that are the primary source of conditioned air and pressurization for the cockpit and passenger cabin. The two packs are the same. And one pack can supply a sufficient quantity of conditioned air and pressure for all operations. The controls and indications for the air conditioning packs are on the forward overhead panel on the air conditioning bleed air controls panel. And the cabin temperature controls panel. The packs decrease the temperature of the warm air from the bleed air system with a sequence of heat exchangers and an air cycle machine. The heat exchangers use external airflow to decrease the temperature of the warm bleed air. The ram air doors control the flow of external air to the heat exchangers. The ram air doors are fully open while on the ground and during slow flight with the flaps extended. And move as necessary between full open and full closed in cruise flight. When the ram air door is full open, the related ram door full open light illuminates on the air conditioning bleed air controls panel. The pack temperature control valve controls the quantity of warm air that is mixed with the cool air downstream of the air cycle machine. With the pack temperature control valve, the pack supplies air at the temperature of the zone with the lowest set temperature. If the main controller or valve fails, the opposite pack controller uses the standby pack temperature controller. Before the pack, some of the bleed air is sent to the trim air system to control the temperature of the cabin zones. The trim air system is discussed in another lesson. To control the bleed air that goes into the pack, you use the air conditioning pack switches on the air conditioning bleed air controls panel. The air conditioning pack switch controls the related pack valve. Turn off the pack. When you set the pack switch to off, the pack valve closes fully and bleed air does not go into the air conditioning pack. Set the pack switch to high. When you set the pack switch to high, the packs supply the maximum airflow. Now, set the pack switch to auto. When you set the pack switch to auto, the pack adjusts to the high flow or low flow to keep sufficient pressurization and conditioned air in the cabin. Downstream of the pack, the air conditioning system supplies the cool air to the flight deck and the passenger cabin. The air from the left pack first goes to the flight deck, and the rest goes to the mix manifold. The air from the right pack goes to the mix manifold. From the mix manifold, the air goes to the forward passenger cabin and the aft passenger cabin. Recirculation fans collect air from the forward cargo bay and sends it to the mix manifold. 
The recirculation fans decrease the bleed load on the engines and save fuel. You can control the temperature in three zones, the flight deck, the forward passenger cabin, and the aft passenger cabin. The two packs supply air at the temperature of the coldest requested temperature of the three zones. The trim air system uses warm bleed air from upstream of the air conditioning pack to warm the pack air to the necessary temperature for the related zones. The trim air switch controls the trim air regulator and shutoff valve. The trim air pressure regulator and shutoff valve controls the air that goes to the trim air system. There are three trim air modulating valves. The two pack controllers use the valves to control the temperature in the zones. The right pack controller is the primary controller for the flight deck trim air valve. And the left pack controller is the secondary controller. The passenger zone trim air valves have one controller. The left pack controller operates the aft cabin zone valve and the right pack operates the forward cabin zone trim air valve. The left and right pack controllers also control the temperature control valves in the packs. Because the packs supply air at the temperature of the coldest zone, that zone does not need trim air and the related trim air valve is closed. The controllers use trim air modulating valves to increase the temperature in the other zones to the necessary temperature. Now, select a warmer temperature in the aft cabin. The aft cabin temperature trim air valve opens to allow warm air to the aft cabin. Because the forward cabin is the coldest zone, the related trim air modulating valve closes and packs supply air at the requested temperature of the forward cabin. The equipment cooling system keeps the temperature of the cockpit instruments and the electronic equipment in the E&E &E bay at less than the operating limits. The system has a normal supply fan and a normal exhaust fan. Also, there is an alternate supply fan and there is an alternate exhaust fan. The supply fan collects cool air from the passenger cabin and supplies it to the cockpit displays and electronic equipment in the E&E &E bay. The exhaust fan collects warm air from the cockpit displays, the circuit breaker panels, and the electronic equipment in the E&E bay. On the ground and in flight, with a low differential pressure, the overboard exhaust valve is open and the system discards the warm air overboard. In flight, at a higher differential pressure, the overboard exhaust valve normally closes and the system supplies the warm air to the lining of the forward cargo bay. The controls for the equipment cooling system are on the forward overhead panel. The supply switch operates the normal or alternate supply fan. The exhaust switch operates the normal or alternate exhaust fan. There are low airflow detectors in both the supply duct and exhaust duct.
If the selected fan does not operate and the airflow stops, the related off light illuminates. When the off light illuminates, you select the related alternate fan. Select the alternate exhaust fan now. The off light extinguishes after the air starts to flow again. The alternate fan supplies the same quantity of air flow as the normal fan. We will now look at some non-normal conditions related to the air conditioning system. If the temperature in the supply ducts to the cockpit or passenger cabins is more than limits, the related zone temperature light illuminates on the cabin temperature controls panel. When the zone temperature light illuminates, the related trim air modulating valve closes. Push the master caution light to reset the warning system. To decrease the temperature in the related trim air supply duct, select a colder temperature with the related temperature selector. To let the trim air modulating valve operate as usual and to extinguish the zone temperature light, push the trip reset switch on the air conditioning bleed air controls panel. Now, with the air temperature selector, select the aft cabin to see the aft duct temperature. If this temperature in the duct increases quickly, then select the trim air switch off. When the trim air switch is off, the trim air valve closes. The packs operate independently. The left pack supplies air at the temperature selected by the flight deck temperature control selector and the right pack supplies air at the average temperature of the forward and aft passenger cabin temperature selectors. The zone temperature light also illuminates if there are failures in the pack controllers. If the primary and secondary flight deck controller do not operate, the flight deck zone temperature light illuminates and the packs operate independently. If a flight deck temperature controller, the forward passenger cabin controller, or the aft temperature controllers fail, then the related zone temperature light illuminates when recall is selected. Select recall now. In this case, the packs also operate independently. Clear the master caution. If the temperature in the pack is too high, or if the pack output temperature is high, then the pack light illuminates, and the related pack valve closes. Reset the master caution system. To decrease the load on the pack, select all the temperature selectors to a warmer temperature. Continue. Continue. To let the pack operate normally, push the trip reset switch on the air conditioning bleed air controls panel. The pack light will also illuminate if both the primary and secondary controller for the related pack do not operate. In this case, all control of the pack is lost and the system will not reset. If the primary or standby controller for the related pack do not operate, the pack light illuminates when recall is pressed. Control of the pack changes to the standby controller if the primary controller does not operate.